Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Plant Boutique. My name is Heather. This is my channel where I talk about all the plant related things. In today's video, I am showing you guys my top 10 favorite house plants in my collection for December 2021. I think I'm going to start doing these types of videos once a month, starting with this one. So January, February, March, April, May, so on and so forth. I'm really excited because I have so many plants I love. I don't just have a favorite plant, I love all my plants. They're all my favorites, but you know, I figured for the fun of it, I would choose my top 10 favorites for the month and then share them with you guys. I'm really excited. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up and smash the notifications bell. It really does help my channel get out there and I appreciate it, you guys are awesome. Let's get into this video, shall we? So starting with number 10 is my Silver Bay, is my Silver Bay Aglionema. And I finally was able to figure out how to say the name instead of Chinese Evergreen. So yes, this is also considered a Chinese Evergreen, but it is a beautiful plant. There's so many varieties. I have three Aglionemas in my collection and I have to learn the names of them. I just know that they are a type of Chinese Evergreen and that there are gleonemas, and they have different names, and they're all pretty, and they're all different, and I love them. They're pretty easy. I got this guy probably about a year ago, and he is, he hasn't stopped growing for me. Yes, anyway, so on to number nine. We'll start putting my little pile over here because there are some plants I can talk about right here, and there's some plants I have to take you to. On to number nine is my Hoya, my Hoya Lisa, wherever she may be. I know I brought her out here. Oh, okay, oh, okay, right here. This is the one, she was in my plant tour and I put her into semi-hydroponics because when I bought her she wasn't doing so hot and so I up, -pot I up potted her and Cleaned off the roots really well. I don't know if she needs a little leaf washing. I might do that after this video. But she has been thriving in hydroponics. I keep her up here on the window and doing great. I love her so much. I am obsessed with Hoyas. I know there's some people who don't like Hoyas and don't understand the, the hype, but they're easy for me and I've never had an issue with a Hoya. Um, that's why I love them. To each their own, right? You love your plants, you love whatever plant you want. Don't let anyone tell you to love a plant just because they don't love it. So that is my uh, my little rant, my little TED talk. Thank you for joining me. Number, number eight is my Neon Philodendron. I'm sure you guys know which one is that one already, but for you guys that don't know, it is, it is this bad boy right behind me. He is a luscious neon philodendron. I have a little baby one of him right behind uh, you guys technically, not me, but <laughs> behind the camera. Um, but I've had this guy for a while now. He wasn't doing so good up here so I moved him downstairs under the grow light. And he's been putting out so much new growth. Like all this, all this is new. This is new, this is new, this is all new back here. This is new. So pretty much all this back here is all new. And in the front you guys can probably see all the newer stuff. I don't know how well you guys can see from back there. but Okay, maybe I can get a little closer. Hold on. Maybe you guys can see it. I hope so, but it's pretty. I absolutely love how bright it is. I find that philodendrons are super easy. I said that in my plant tour, my most recent plant tour. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, I will put it in the description below for you guys so you can check that out if you would like. And don't forget to like that video if you love the plant tours I've been doing because I love talking about my plants and sharing everything I know about plants with you guys. Even though I am not like a professional, I know I'm not a professional, I'm just an enthusiast and I hope that my advice works for you, but if it doesn't, Please try something else. Don't blame me for something not working or, you know, whatever. Just just try it out. If you love it, great, grand. I'm glad it worked for you. But if it didn't, please just try something different. 
Number seven is my Hoya Pubicalic Splash. I absolutely love this one. I just love its petioles and how long it is. Maybe that, I think that's from when I was wiping it down on accident. I got a little aggressive. That was my bad. But it's okay. Anywho, this is my Hoya Pubicalic Splash. of its long petioles, feelers, what I, I call them feelers, but I know they're petioles. And I am waiting for peduncles because I am obsessed with them. But I really want this to bloom. I am so happy for everybody who can get their Hoyas to bloom. I want to know the secret. What is the secret? I had this Hoya Pubicalyx in my collection for about, I want to say, I got it in the summertime and it's been doing really good. I don't water it much. I keep it under a grow light and she's been doing really good. But I think I want to move her into the window just so she can get some more light and I think that's what she wants. That's what I've been doing. I've been keeping Hoyas behind you guys and recently just been putting them on the window and they've been thriving, they've been throwing out hands left and right, so I might just do that with this one as well, and I might move my string of hearts. Don't know yet. That was my uh, my youngest puppy, because she likes to chew up her toys and swallow the stuffing. Kind of gives herself a stuffing hairball. It's so dry in my house, I feel it for my plants, I'm so sorry you guys. I even have the humidifiers running and it, I just can't keep up with how much moisture is being sucked out of my house. <sighs> Wintertime blows, you guys. Hate it. I just hate that oh, my plants don't thrive in the winter. That's what. That's it. I don't hate winter. I just hate that they don't thrive. I take that statement back. I love you, winter. I don't hate you. <laughs> I just don't like driving in it, but I don't hate it. Anyway, on to number six. And number six is my philodendron. Ooh, wow, all my beers in it. Number six is my philodendron lichens. Oh god. Oh Jesus. This is a big one. I love this guy so much. So much new growth. I have to um, actually fertilize her more often in the winter now because she's been throwing out so much new growth. But I think I'm going to hold off because I think that's normal that she's kind of smaller because I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Do I need to give her more fertilizer or should I just let her go? She's sitting over here <laughs> behind me by an east facing window and she's also under a grow light right next to the humidifier. So she has it all. She's living the good life. But if you guys could see that when it was right there. Um, let me know what you think. More fertilizer or should I just let her go and see what happens? But I don't think I'm gonna fertilize her just yet because I do because I do water her with um, aquarium water. I don't know, I might give her a little boost of liquid earth. I've had this mic in since October 2021 and I just love it so much. It is definitely one of my favorites. I could say that for sure. I'm sorry, everybody else. This is definitely one of my top favorites. That's why it's number, I think, what, what number are we on? Number six. We're on number six. And it is six on my list, so I guess it's uh, not one of my top five, but I guess it's still my favorite. And my top ten. It's in my top ten. I made it to the top ten. That's all that matters, right? For this month. That's all that matters. I really hope um, next month I don't choose any of the same plants I talked about this month. I'll try not to. I try, I'll try. i try my hardest not to do that, but I might not be able to. Number five is my variegated string of pearls. Oh, guys, I know they're becoming more common and I don't even care. I love it. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love the variegation. I love how easy they are for me. I've killed multiple string of pearls. And actually multiple variegated stringer pearls also, but this one I have been able to keep alive. I've gotten a few babies off of her. I've, a I've been able to give friends cuttings off of her and their cuttings are thriving. She's just beautiful. I love her. You just want to hug your plants. 
I love them. I wish I could hug my plants, but I feel like I would break them. Oh, this floor is not comfortable. I need to figure something else out for recording because sitting on this floor, I'm getting too old for this. I'm almost in my 30s. This is not fun. <laughs> I feel it. My, my achy, breaky joints, guys. Variegated string of pearls are relatively easy to care for, in my opinion. I know people have, you know, difficulties sometimes, and I definitely did. I'm not saying I was perfect at, you know, caring for a string of pearls or even variegated string of pearls at that in the beginning. But I learned to not water them unless they're squishy. It's been working for me, and if it ha if anything hasn't been working for you guys, and you guys want to try that and you didn't know that you just wait till they're squishy to water them then now you know I got this guy off of Etsy and I've had it for about I definitely summertime I have to look but I'm pretty sure I got it in the summertime and it's just thriving it's doing so good I'm so happy I love you okay on to number four. Number four is my Save a Blue. My beauty. My beautiful baby. I've had this in my collection for... Oh, there's a new growth. Sorry, I got distracted. There's a new growth. I got this back in March 2021, and it was longer, but I did take some cuttings from it to... Uh, fill it out a little bit and to make some other plants for my collection because I want a few of these guys around my house because I think they're so pretty and when I'm able to I will have some in my store. Sable Blue has a tiny little bit of a silvery blue hue to them and they're super easy that they you care for them like pothos and honestly I don't water him until he looks a little sad. Right now he's plumpy and beautiful even though he is light with the soil being super light, I don't water my plants until my, you know, the, the foliage starts to show me it's thirsty because I don't want to overwater them. I know some plants don't like to be dried to that point, but I would rather underwater just a little bit than overwater because as soon as I see a plant going like droopy, I instantly go check it out and it, none of them died on me from doing that, so it works. So I'm going to keep doing it if it works, you know? Keep doing it if it works. Number eight on my list is Marin the Monstera, but I have to take you guys over to her because there's no way in hell I can carry her over. So I'm gonna take you over there right now. Oh, she's so beautiful. There's her new leaf coming out. Remember the plant tour? And it was just coming out of the stalk, I think. Or was it almost about to unfurl? I can't remember. I love the ornaments. We didn't even put the ornaments in the plant, just so you guys know. It's little, they are literally just hanging in the holes. <laughs> My boyfriend helped me decorate her. Helped me put the lights on. Helped me put, he actually put the silver ornaments on. And she's got so much potential new growth coming. Probably not this year but definitely in the spring she's got so many little prego bellies there's one right here i love this leaf so much that's the newest unfurled leaf but this one over here is about to be the newest newest number two on my list is my diffenbachia camouflage it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Thai Constellation, which is actually going to be my number one, and we'll get to her in a second. Stop moving in the pot! I keep tilting it, and it's not in a pot. It's not in a cover pot that's meant for the size pot, and it's kind of loose in there, so kind of keep tilting her everywhere. Her leaves kind of have that constellation pattern. You guys can see that. Super pretty. I've always wanted one. I've seen one on Instagram. It took me months. It took me months to find one. And I'm really happy I did. And now I have one. Of my own. Mm. Diffenbachias are pretty easy to care for. 
I only water this guy when the soil is completely dry and I use a water meter when I water this one. I use a water meter on all my other plants that I'm kind of like still finicky with the watering schedule schedule or whatever. I don't have a schedule for watering. Kind of just water when my plants need it. Number one is my Thai Constellation. I will forever have this plant in my top favorites probably because she was a gift from my boyfriend for our anniversary and I absolutely love her. She was a full plant at one point, had a bunch of roots, beautiful, and I overwatered her and she got root rot and so I had to repot her. She didn't like the soil I put her in so when I took her out her roots were mushy. I trimmed them all off, was able to salvage some of the roots and then I put her into semi-hydroponics and then decided to just put her into uh, water and now she's doing really good. She has so many new roots and is doing so good and I have high hopes for her in the spring for her to shoot out this new baby leaf right here or even soon honestly because she's getting she's bulging more and more every day so I'm hoping maybe before spring she'll have a new leaf but if not I'm patiently waiting for you. No rush. You work on you. You work on your root system. No rush at all. I absolutely love this plant. Beautiful. Anyway guys, that was everything for my top 10 favorite plants in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did because I love talking about these guys. I never thought about doing something like this before. This is my first time doing a top 10. If you'd like to see how I keep up with all of these plants, please subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and smash that notification bell. You guys are awesome. Thank you for always coming back and supporting my channel. You guys can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Heather's Plant Boutique for more planty content. I know what I mean. Can you please sit or go lay down? You guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for coming back. Happy planting.